Okay, so Frenchie, you said that your life began at 26. So I, I want to start there. Yeah. Um, what happened when you were 26 that kickstarted this new life? Oh my God, like uh, same thing, crazy story. So let me again, the universe. The universe likes to, you know, like play dodge, dodge ball, uh, mm -hmm. dodgeball with me, for sure. So um, by divorce, I was with a bad, uh, really, really bad relationship, really bad dude. Just uh, it was time to mm -hmm. go. As soon as I left him, Ascension. So that was good to cut the chain because mm -hmm. when you cut the chain, boom, finally mm -hmm. you can bloom. I finally bloomed and I was working at a bank. And my trainee, the girl I trained, is the one that brought me to the swinger party in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Called the swingers, the pleasure zone, it's the swinger zone. Yeah, swinger zone too. Mm -hmm. the, the pleasure zone parties, mm -hmm. the PC parties. And so I'm being brought to what I thought was a lingerie party. It was definitely not a lingerie party. But even I think if she would try to explain me swinger party, I would have not get it. I was vanilla. I was right. Yeah, I was not even ready for this. But once I had my peak into in it, uh, yeah, it was the beginning of the American dream for sure. So I got picked up by this couple at that very party. And not knowing, they actually brought me home and paid me. I was not. I was not gonna get paid. I was going for free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a good little slip. Okay. <laughs> so wait, did they give you money after you yeah, guys? It was after. They were just like, here's some money, right. and you were just like, no, it was an why? It was an envelope. So right before the taxi arrives, mm -hmm. fancy, fancy, the envelope. The thing is, okay, we took a lot of pictures that night. Mm -hmm. So in my head, the envelope is the pictures that they just printed. I'm mm -hmm. like, this guy is the best husband ever. Mm -hmm. He printed the freaking picture for me, mind you. We Tonight, we did some hum hums that night. Actually, we can talk about that night. That was cool. So <laughs> when they brought me back, I mean, I was not really a big drinker, uh -huh. okay? And the tequila, I mean, Jesus Christ, I was so tipsy. And when we arrived at their house, we talked for, for a good moment. And they right. showed me their playroom. They had a full playroom. And it was this arch like this. Like, what is that? You know, like a cage or something. I'm like, they, like, they told me, you're going to see later. Now I was actually scared. I'm like... Okay, are, are those weird cop type of couple that's gonna keep me in a cave or something? Yeah. Because what is this art? And I see the, and I see, I see like this, this room is, is just like inspiring me, like uh, something I never seen. <laughs> yeah. So after really getting comfortable with each other, we go to that room. It's like now I'm gonna show you. So he tied her up. He actually tied her up. So it was this cage, like this weird arch mm -hmm. where he actually tied her up, and he put an. Um, strap on on me with a little mm -hmm. tiny insert mm -hmm. and he made me his wife just like that you know I mean that was the first time I even seen a strap on and the thing the strap on you're not connected to the dick so when you and the dick comes out just kind of keep going not, yeah it, it wasn't it, strap ons are not that easy to use like they terrible. take some practice yeah for yes, sure so imagine my first time yeah oh, plus it was a small insert I'm pretty much I'm pretty sure it was for a butt or something it was so, so I remember looking at it and clearly feeling what it felt for a man to look at a, a small dick. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> it was just this little teeny thing, yeah. But uh, no, they made me do some, some crazy stuff. But she was tied up. He cracked her penny. He put it in her mouth and gagged ball her. And then we, we did all, all type of dirty stuff. But he left her like that and put me on the floor. And that I was like, coming, coming, coming. It's just uh -huh. That was so kinky and so like just deviant. Yeah. But in a way that I'm like, it was new to me. Uh -huh. and I liked it. I'm like, okay, maybe I'm weird actually. Uh -huh. Maybe I like I, what I liked. I didn't know I liked. Right. So this is why when I had my pinky toe, I'm like, wait, I had to come out of this night and money. So again, when they pay me, I don't know. It was a picture. And as a matter of fact, I didn't even know it was money until way after. Yeah. Hours and hours and hours after. So yeah. No, no, no. It was not a money thing at first. Yeah. Right. So what was your reaction when you opened the envelope and you saw money? Mortified. Were you, so you were, you were embarrassed? Like, I was, I like super confused. Mortified is not the, big, the, the, the right word. I think confused. Like confused, confusion, right. like really to cover me. Like, mind you, we got intoxicated. Did he give me the wrong envelope? Are they yeah. going did did, did, to think I, I stole from them? So I called them like, hey, hey, hey. Like I didn't steal from you guys. Like, and so I'm talking about the picture. Like, hey, you guys. Why there is, you know, money instead of the picture? Yeah. They don't, they, they're confused. I'm confused, you know. So now they're even more confused. Finally, we getting everything right. Like, Frenchie, why aren't you working? No. <laughs> no, not at all. I was not working that night. I yeah. was at a party. Simply. That yeah. changed the whole direction of absolutely everything. So you were like, I can have, have a good time and I can get paid for it. And it was like a revelation. 
in one night, I made what I would make in one month. So it was ridiculous. Can I ask you how much it was? It was 3,500 bucks. Wow. Which at the bank, this is what you make with commission. I mean, maybe a little bit more at the bank. Come on, a little bit more at the bank. But yeah. are you kidding me? Um, I was in debt. <laughs> so yeah. I could pay all my debt and go to BB and buy like a bunch of BB clothes. So that was, <laughs> uh, that, was, that was quite awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.